Hi everyone, welcome to JavaScript 30 days of lead code challenge. Now we are today with the problem number 2677 which is chunk array. You can see it here given an array ARR and a chunk size of size. So they, they will say it like chunk means basically the cutting one written a chunked array. So which is like the splitted array. A chunked array contains original elements in the ARR but consists of subarrays of each of length size. So the length of the last subarray may be less than the size if ARR dot length is not evenly divisible by size. That is true. Now you may assume that the array is the output of JSON parse and solve it without using the lodash. Obviously we have something called lodash chunk function which will do that but we are not doing it. So because they asked it like without. Now the basically what they are saying it is if there is an array 2 comma 5 comma 8 comma 7 6 3. Imagine this is an array and they said it like size 3. If the size is 3 if ARR as this array and size is 3 they wanted this to convert something like 2 5 8 which is three elements of an array and comma and another array contains seven six three so both will be an array so it's like they wanted array of pieces where each piece contains the same size so how do you solve it here let's go here let's solve it here now you can check it here the given input is arr and size let's create it some array let chunked array which is initially we don't have anything and return this chunked array so basically i just created one chunked array and i'm just returning it but how do you give the value into it yes so if i have to do manually this particular one imagine you have an array and if someone said it like two so you have to cut this array in each pieces of two, 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 two like that. That means this process has to be repeated again and again. So I will take it in a for loop. So a basic for loop will be executed. Now in this basic for loop, you are taking it initially the let i value zero and it goes i value until arr dot length until the end of the array you should go. And every time, imagine you have uh, uh, 10 centimeters a particular uh, rod. Now you are saying it like two. The moment you said it like the first guy, it's like what the guy will do. Two centimeters, he will cut one piece again. Two centimeters, he will cut one piece again. Two centimeters, he will cut one piece like that. He will get the five pieces. If he says like three, you will cut three centimeters a piece. And again, three centimeters a piece. Again, three centimeters a piece. And the last one will be one centimeters, which is fine. So the four pieces will come here also every time you should update it with the size value not with the array value. So I am going with i plus is equals to size that means first time if he said it like 3 the first time 0 and then after th next time it will be i value 3 then 6 and then 9 that is how you will cut it. Now let let's cut it how do you cut it let x equals to ARR dot splice ARR dot slice and I'm cutting it you are cutting it from I to the I plus of size I to the I plus of size which is like initially the size is 3 so 0 to 3 and then next I value will become 3 3 to 3 plus 3 which is 6 and then again uh, I value will become 6 so 6 to 6 plus 3 which is 9 and then again I value will be 9 which is the maximum one okay so if the value is more than that it will not be able to cut it now here I will just push this particular one chunked array chunked array of x chunked array dot push so i'm just pushing whatever the values i got it into the new array and i just uh, returned this array after the for loop so yeah that, that's it for this like let's check it on how it will run now here uh, return chunked array which is wrong the spelling wrongs so here chunked wrong chunked array which is right 
now see it got accepted with the 48 milliseconds now you can even make it like if you don't want to create in a variable you can just cut it up and you can even write it instead of x you can directly write it here which will make it the program good and more reader more readable so now let's go here let's run into the same solution here yeah so you can try this and in case if you get it any doubts you can check it on how the objects and the arrays works in our previous classes now for more and more uh, lead code problems you can check it our play play playlist that's it for today thank you all